How the issue of connectivity can be looked from a conceptual framework. I have three concepts, ambiguity, bridge, and commonality. Ambiguity, there are many concepts these days about this region. I think five, six uh, Eurasian continent, the Korean model, the Indo-Pacific, uh, Asian, so on and so forth. I think there are competition on narratives that how we define this region and how we connect. And I think these names have uh, been with a special, let's say, charge. And I'm sorry to report that there is a confusion in some of them. They are not well debated, well defined, and not clear. And when it is not clear, ambiguity brings disruptive tendencies. The, the name of the, uh, the title or subtitle of the conference is uh, disruption, disruptive tendencies. I think disruptive tendencies come out of ambiguities. So the first issue that we are dealing with, ambiguity in concepts and we have to clear them. The second point is bridge, where there is clarity. I think there is one project which is very clearly there, and that is the, the based on concept of bridge between India, Iran, Central Asia, and that is Shobar, and it is a success. And it has been, uh, become operational. But before becoming operational, I think it was a clear concept conceptually, that what do we want? It was a connective point between India, Iran, and Afghanistan, and Central Asia. It creates a space for Indian access to post-Soviet space, especially when you consider the issue of North-South corridor. So it connects India with North-South corridor through Iran, and it is a bridge conceptually between the de development of Afghanistan, security of Afghanistan, uh, stability of Afghanistan and Central Asia and the region. And I think it is a success, and I have to report to you that it is, as some of the Indian scholars have recently uh, written, it is a game changer. 60% in uh, cost and 50% in time uh, is saved for India through this connectivity. By this, I go to my third concept, that if we want connectivity, along with clarity and concept of bridge, we have to work on commonalities. And commonality of interest of Iran, India, and Afghanistan, here is the key. But this is not against the interests of the others. So we are not making it as a, let's say, a place where we are going to damage the interests of the others, there is no competition, as we in Iran say, with other ports. We value other ports also. And I think uh, this is an example of win-win. Uh, win-win is based on common interest. Uh, may I end, if my, yes, I still one minute, huh? End by two quotes by uh, great leader of India Gandhi, which I really think is applicable to what we have in Chahbar. He says, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. I do remember there were some ex acceptees who challenged Chobar in, let's say, two, two decades ago. Now it's a reality. And I end by another quote, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And I think Chobar is an example of connectivity, real connectivity, which is clearly there conceptually and practically, and maybe a model.